In this video, I will shows you how to use HCS R04 ultrasonic sensors with Arduino and use for contactless distance measurement. To interface HCS R04 ultrasonic sensor with Arduino, we should know the functionality of its each pin. By knowing the functionality of input and output pins, we will be able to identify which GPIO pins of Arduino should be used to interface HCS R04 with Arduino. This figure shows pin configuration of ultrasonic range sensor. It consists of four pins, such as VCC, ground, trigger and echo pin. VCC and ground pins are used to power sensor. We should supply 5 volts to the VCC pin and connect the GND pin with the ground terminal of the power supply. Trigger is an input pin. This pin is used to initiate the ultrasonic sensor to start distance measurement or distance ranging. When users want to get distance measurements from the sensor, we apply a 10 microseconds pulse to this pin. Echo is a pulse output pin. The echo pin produces a pulse as an output. The width of pulse or on time of the pulse, depends on the distance between the ultrasonic sensor, an obstacle which is placed in front of the HCS R04 sensor. In idle conditions, this pin remains at an active low level. Now let's see how ultrasonic sensor works. Ultrasonic sensor consists of two basic modules, such as ultrasonic transmitter and ultrasonic receiver. The transmitter circuit converts an electrical signal into a 40 kHz burst of 8 sonar wave pulses. The input electrical signal to the transmitter circuit is 10 microseconds pulse to the trigger pin of HCS ROWS4 sensor. We apply this trigger input signal through Arduino or any microcontroller. On the other hand, the ultrasonic receiver circuit listens to these ultrasonic waves which are produced by the transmitter circuit. Ultrasonic sensor measures distance, by using inaudible ultrasonic sound waves of 40 kHz frequency. Like sound waves, ultrasonic waves travel through air, and if there is any obstacle in front of them, they reflect according to their angle of incidence. Moreover, if an object is placed parallel to an ultrasonic transmitter, ultrasonic waves reflect back to the receiver circuit of the sensor, as shown in this figure. Therefore, for distance measurement with HCS R04 sensor, we place the object under test exactly in parallel position with ultrasonic sensor. To measure distance, first we apply 10 microseconds pulse to the trigger pin of the HCS ROWS4 sensor from the Arduino digital output pin. As soon as 10 microseconds input trigger signal becomes active low, the transmitter circuit produces a burst of 8 ultrasonic sonar pulses. After that, the echo pin also makes a transition from a logic low level to a logic high level. When the echo pin goes high, we start to measure time with the Arduino duration measurement function. These ultrasonic pulses travel through the air, and if there is any object placed in parallel to the sensor, these waves reflect back after a collision with the object. As soon as the ultrasonic waves received by the receiver circuit, after striking with an object, the echo pin goes low. Arduino detects this transition of echo output signal, from active high to an active low level, and stops the time measurement. The duration for which echo output signal remains high, depends on the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the object which we place in front of the sensor. In short, by measuring the on time of the echo output pulse signal, we can measure the distance. Let's assume that we have measured the output pulse time with Arduino. Now the question is how to convert this measured time into distance. We can convert the pulse duration into distance by using this equation. Here V is the speed of ultrasonic waves in air. The speed of ultrasonic waves in air is equal to the speed of sound, which is 340 meters per second. This equation will give distance output in units of meter. But, if you want the distance in centimeter units, multiply 340 with 100. Furthermore, the time given in the above formula should also be divided by 2. 
because ultrasonic waves travel from the transmitter to the obstacle, and then reflect back to the receiver circuit by traveling the same distance. But, we want to find the distance between ultrasonic sensor, and object only. Hence, by using this equation, we can measure the distance in centimeter, if pulse duration is known. Now let's see how to interface Arduino with ultrasonic sensor. Now we know that, to interface HCS R04 sensor with Arduino, we need four pins, out of which two are power supply pins, and two are digital input-output pins. One GPIO pin of the Arduino will be used as a digital output pin, to provide a trigger signal to the ultrasonic sensor. Similarly, one GPIO pin will be used as a digital input pin, to capture echo output signal of sensor. Now make the connection of the Arduino with sensor according to this connection diagram. In this schematic diagram, we use the D9 pin of Arduino to provide a trigger signal, and D11 to capture the echo output pulse. Also connect VCC and ground pins of ultrasonic sensor to plus 5 volts and ground pins of Arduino respectively. Now let's see Arduino code. In this example code, we will control an LED based on measured distance value. Arduino has an onboard LED, that is connected with the D13 pin. This code takes the distance measurement, and if the measured distance value is less than 10 cm, LED will turn on. Otherwise LED remains off. First, define the names of Arduino pins using hash define preprocessor directives. These lines define that, D9 and D11 pins of Arduino are used to control trigger, and echo pins of the HCSR04 sensor. Similarly, the D13 pin is assigned the name, LED. These two variables are declared to store duration and distance values. Inside the setup function, we initialize trigger underscore pin and LED pins as digital output pins, and echo underscore pin as a digital input pin. Also, enable serial communication, to send distance measurement data to Arduino serial monitor. As you know that, to enable the ranging of data from the HCSR04 sensor, we provide a 10 microseconds pulse to the trigger pin. Therefore, this segment of code provides a 10 microseconds pulse to trigger pin. It will initiate the distance sample taking process. This line measures the time for which output signal remains in active high state. The pulse in function is used to measure the pulse duration, and it returns the time duration output in microseconds. Finally, this line converts the pulse duration into distance in centimeter. If else conditional block checks either measure distance is less than or greater than 10 centimeters. If it is greater than 10, turn on LED. Otherwise, LED remains turn off. At the end, serial, Print function prints the measured distance on Arduino serial monitor. Now let's see the demo of this code. Now upload this code to Arduino. After that open the serial monitor. As you can see distance is changing according to obstacle position. Also, LED turns on when distance is less than 10 cm. For complete resources, and more examples check the link given in the description of this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this blog.